Microsoft Excel 2010 formatting rows, columns and worksheets. To select an entire worksheet, click on the worksheet selector. To see how many rows and columns are in the worksheet, hold down the left mouse button on the selector. There are more than a million rows and more than 16,000 columns in a worksheet. Change the font of the worksheet. All cells in the worksheet will be affected. Select column C. Change the alignment to centered. Select row 3. Change the background full color. Go to the page layout view. Use the slider to zoom in or zoom out so that more pages can be seen. The formatting that has been applied to row 3 stretches across all the columns. This will not be printed because there is no data in these cells. Change back to normal view. As a general rule it is better to format the cells rather than formatting the entire row or the entire column. Select row 3 and remove the formatting. Then select the headings and apply the formatting. Right click on the row number of row number 1. Select row height. Type in a new row height and press enter or click on OK. Changing row heights and column widths is acceptable. If a column should not be seen, it can be hidden. Right click on the column and select Hide. To show the column again, select the columns on either side of the column that was hidden. Right click and select Unhide. Remember to restrict the formatting of whole rows, columns and worksheets.